All right, lesson 10, our final lesson. Um, in this one, we're just really applying everything we already know to one new case, which is polynomials where the leading coefficient, our c value, is not 1 or negative 1 anymore. Um, which just means we're going to be doing, starting all these equations kind of the same way we've been doing, but we need to solve for c kind of at the end by subbing in some point or doing some other things. Uh, so recall, every polynomial function can be written as a product of its factors and a leading coefficient. Uh, every polynomial function has the same number of factors as its degree. So there's going to be the same number of brackets as whatever degree the polynomial is. Okay, in this lesson, we're going to be doing ones with c values, not just one. So let's jump right into the first example. It looks a little bit different on your sheet, but it's all the same information. Uh, okay, question one. The graph of a third degree polynomial function is shown. The graph has an integral, has integral x-intercepts and passes through the point 2, negative 24. Explain why the equation of the polynomial function can be written in the form c, x, x plus 1, x minus 3. Well, we have three different roots. That's a 3, that's a 0, and that's a negative 1. So that's where we get these things from. That's our 0, 1. That's our negative 1, and that's our positive 3. Uh, and every polynomial can be written as a set of its factors with some kind of constant coefficient. So that's why it can be done like that. Uh, use the point to determine the value of c. So we already have started the equation based on all the roots. Now we just need to sub in our point and solve. So we're going to say negative 24 is equal to c times 2 times 2 plus 1 times 2 minus 3. Okay, so just subbing in the point 2, negative 24 for x and y. So the 20, 24 went to the back, uh, to the front, sorry, and the 2 goes in all the brackets. So simplifying this, it's going to be c times 2 times 2 times negative 1. which is negative 4, c is equal to negative 24. So c is equal to 4, right? Wait, 6. Oh, this is 3, sorry. That should be 3. So this isn't negative 4, this is negative 6. So small mistake. Uh, yeah, and dividing by 6 makes positive 4. And that's it, and then we would rewrite, rewrite the equation uh, y, or in this case p of x, is equal to uh, 4 times x times x plus 1 times x minus 3. So just find your c value and replace it. That's all we're doing. Uh, pretty much that's it for this lesson. I think it's actually fairly straightforward, but it's a good chance to make sure we understand everything from the previous lessons. The graph represents the polynomial function of the lowest possible degree. Uh, the intercepts are integers determine the equation. So we have an intercept right here at positive 2. We have an intercept right here at negative 2. And this guy right here is going to be of a higher degree. So this is a simple 1 degree 1. So we're going to have a single uh, x minus 2. And then we're going to have an x plus 2. And then we have to figure out what degree that one is. Uh, so if it was first degree, it would just travel straight through. If it was second degree, it would be a vertex and it would bounce back. Uh, this is actually a point of inflection. This is changing the way our umbrella looks. So our umbrella collects rain, then our umbrella rejects rain. So this is actually a third degree one. So we would start our equation like that p of x equals some constant c x minus 2 x plus 2 cubed. Uh, and we need to know the equation for it. So we actually need to sub in some other point now. Uh, so we could sub in this point down here. It actually doesn't say how low it is. Oh yeah, it says 20 up here. This is our only indicator of the vertical scale. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 gets to 20, so every line is 4. So this is actually the point 
0, negative 8. That's going to be the point that we sub in. So negative 8 equals c times 0 minus 2 times 0 plus 2 cubed. That needs to fall on our line. This is just like what we did in quadratics in grade 11. So I think this is actually kind of not too bad. So negative 8 is equal to c times negative 2 times 2 cubed is 8. So that is 8, negative 16. C equals negative 8. So C equals 1 half. Just a simple solving, and then you sub it back into the equation. P of x is equal to 1 half x minus 2 x plus 2 cubed. Nice and straightforward. Uh, the only hard part is recognizing that this is a third degree one. Um, I think if you're comfortable with that, the rest of this should be pretty easy. More of the same, just different ways of asking those questions. So determine the equation in factored form of a fourth degree polynomial. So we should have four different factors, which passes through this point, we'll use that last, and is tangent to the x-axis, so has the slope of zero at, and these are roots, so these are both second degree solutions then. So x minus 2 from the first one, if you subbed in 2 it goes to 0, second degree, and x plus 3 from the second one, second degree as well. Because it's tangent to the x-axis, that means it's going to be reflected back at both of these at 2, 0. Uh, we don't know which way it goes. Uh, it might be positive or negative, but basically it's going to be flat there, and then maybe it goes down. Maybe it's flat again. So it looks like, yeah, it's, it says it's fourth degree, but it could be flipped upside down as well. We're not sure yet. Uh, we can actually tell from here it's going to be at the point 1, negative 12, so it is going to be upside down. So we're looking for some C value, and it should be a negative value. Let's sub in our values and find it. Probably could solve this, pause this, and solve this on your own first. Um, you should end up with a C value of negative 3 quarters once you get down there. I assume we can do that part. Just expand, then divide, and then solve. So in this case, our polynomial function is negative 3 quarters x minus 2 squared x plus 3 squared. Pretty easy. We're all going to ace this test. Okay. I think I will do it. This is going like a fast video. So I'll just do both these examples. A fourth degree polynomial passes through the point and has zeros at... So just another different way of saying the exact same type of question. We have one, two, three, four zeros. It's a fourth degree polynomial, so that's all of them. So our polynomial starts out with something there. And four brackets. From the minus one, it's going to be x plus one. From the zero, it's actually just x. From the three halves, uh, so the 2 comes up, and then the 3 subtracts, so it should be 2x minus 3. Uh, so from 3 halves, x equals 3 halves, and we want to turn that into a 0. So the 2 comes up, and then you subtract the 3. So 2x minus 3 should be the term. Hopefully we can kind of figure that out in our heads. And then from the 2, x minus 2. That's how we start. It looks something like that. We don't need brackets around the x. We'll tidy that up at the end. Uh, now let's sub in our point. So 2 is equal to c. 1 plus 1. 1. Uh, 2 minus 3. And 1 minus 2. Solve. Uh, we should end up with 2 is equal to 2c. 
and so c is equal to 1. So our polynomial function is just x times x plus 1 times 2x minus 3 times x minus 2. Uh, we'd like to put our coefficients at the front. So if there's a single x term, we actually usually put it at the front. Um, I wouldn't say it's explicitly wrong to have it in the middle, but it is better to have it at the front, um, just for tidiness sake. And our c value is 1. Okay, last question. Um, this is a short video. Maybe pause this one, try it on your own first. Um, I don't think it's going to be too difficult, though. The polynomial equation has the following three roots. Uh, minus 2 multiplicity of 1, so it's going to be an x plus 2 there. Uh, 1 third multiplicity of 2, so 3 comes up, the 1 gets subtracted. 3x minus 1, twice. And 1 is a root with multiplicity of 3, so x minus 1 cubed we get from that one. And we're going to be subbing in the point. A y-intercept means x is 0, 2 thirds. So we use all that information. We sub in our point. Zero, so just two. Simplify it down. Something, oh, zero. Sorry, this is wrong. Uh, if you sub in zero, that's negative one squared, that's positive one. So that's just negative 2c equals 2 thirds. Sorry, I subbed in the wrong number. Uh, so divide by negative 2. So c is equal to 2 over 6 negative or negative 1 third. And then you just sub it back in. And that's it. So a very easy final lesson, I think. Um, hopefully this whole unit isn't too bad. Okay, get ready for the test.